Thank you, Andrew. Our next speaker is uh, Ji Chao Sun. Um, he's a postdoctoral fellow in the UW Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, working with Dr. Subhijit Roy. His research focuses on the mechanistic aspects of um, Alzheimer's disease, and he's going to be talking about a CRISPR-Cas9 based strategy to attenuate the beta amyloid pathway. Thank you, Ji Chao. Should I use this computer? Should I use this computer? Oh. oh. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ji Chao from Shubhajit Roy's lab. So it's my pleasure to present our recent work on a CRISPR-Cas9 based strategy to, for the Alzheimer's disease. So this picture shows a, a amyloid beta staining of Alzheimer's disease brain. So the brown structure, the brown structure you saw is the amyloid plaques, which are the pathological hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid beta is generated from a precursor protein called APP. APP is a transmembrane protein with the N-terminal facing to the extracellular domain and the C-terminal facing to the intracellular domain. APP is firstly cleaved by beta secretase base 1 to generate beta CTF, and then is further cleaved by gamma secretase to generate A-beta and the intracellular AICD. So A-beta can be secreted outside of the cells Excessive A-beta generation will induce its aggregation and the plaque formation. Our lab focuses, uh, focuses on the physical interaction between APP and the base 1, which is the rate-limiting step in A-beta generation. So previously, we, found, we and others found that APP and the base 1 could co-localize and interact in endosomes, where the beta cleavage occurs. And interestingly, we found if we, over, uh, if we express a truncation APP with deletion of the intracellular domain, this AP, APP cannot interact with base 1 and cannot undergo uh, beta cleavage, even though this uh, cutting site is away from beta cleavage site. From this hint, we have an idea uh, why can't we cut? The, endogenous, uh, the C terminal of endogenous APP. In that way, we can block the interaction of APP and the base 1 at endogenous level. Then, how to do that? At that time, we learned a technology called CRISPR Cas9 to edit genome. So, CRISPR Cas9 contains two components one is the Cas9 endonuclease, which can make a double strand DNA breakage. Uh, when the cells try to repair this double strand break, uh, mutations like insertion or deletion normally occur. And these mutations can induce a tr mistranslation of the protein. Another component is the guide RNA, which can recruit the Cas9 endonuclease to the genome. You can design a specific guide RNA sequence, which can uh, complement the genomic DNA so that you can target a specific site on the genome. So we think this is a perfect tool for us to target endogenous APP gene. So we look at the C terminal of APP and found out one CRISPR targeting site at the intracellular domain as shown in the orange color. And the, the transmembrane domain is shown in gray. Okay. And uh, here, to tell the effect of the CRISPR, we use an APP antibody called Y18, which recognizes the last 20 amino acids. So if the CRISPR works, we, the antibody shouldn't detect the truncated protein. So firstly, we will look at the embryo stem cell, human embryo stem cells, and we found with the CRISPR expression, the Y18 signal is largely reduced as compared to the control cells. However, if we block the protein with the N-terminal antibody, 22C11, you can see the protein still can be expressed, suggesting that the CRISPR only cut off a short C-terminal, but preserved the entire N-terminal. 
To further confirm this point, we did a deep sequence analysis. We found that with CRISPR expression, over 80% of APP genes got five base pair deletion at the CRISPR targeting site. And this five base pair deletion caused an early termination of protein translation so that the truncated protein lost the last 36 amino acids from the C-terminal. And then we want to know whether this method, the APP CRISPR, can work in vivo and in brain. So here we inject, uh, we inject the AAV viruses expressing the Cas9 and the guide RNA into the hippocampus of mouse brain. Uh, here the viral vector contains the GFP gene so that we can easily tell the infected uh, neuron by GFP expression. So here is the example. Uh, the left half of the brain is not infected by the viruses, while the right half of the brain is, is infected, as shown by the GFP expression. And then we stain the brain with Y18 antibody, and we found that with CRISPR expression, the Y18 staining is reduced as compared to the control, control neurons. So from here, we know that the APP CRISPR can work in cells and in neurons to cut off the C terminal, the C terminus. And then we want to know uh, whether this APP CRISPR can really block the beta cleavage and the A beta generation, because the cutting site is very far away from the beta cleavage site. So here we transfect the cells with APP CRISPR and then we measure the A-beta secretion from the cell culture medium, as you see. The APP CRISPR can reduce the A-beta secretion from, uh, into the cell culture medium. Now we want to, lastly, we want to know what's the mechanism, how this works to block the A-beta generation. So APP is actively transported inside the cells. After synthesis, uh, APP is firstly transported to the plasma membrane and then APP molecules can be internalized into the endosome where it interacts with base 1 and undergo beta cleavage, as shown here. So we look at the APP trafficking inside the cells and we found that deletion of the C-terminal of APP can block APP endocytosis, step 2. So here we uh, trace the cell surface APP and uh, looking at where the APP goes after the surface labeling. With well type APP, you can see the APP can be actively internalized in, into the endosome shown by this vesicle structure. However, if we express APP C-terminal deletion, which mimics the APP CRISPR product, you can see the protein as uh, returned along the plasma membrane. So suggesting that internalization process is blocked. Okay, to summarize, uh, the wild type APP can be internalized from the plasma membrane and then interact with base one for beta cleavage at the endosome. However, if we uh, edit endogenous APP gene and cut off the small C terminal, C terminus then we can block the APP internalization so that APP molecules is returned along the plasma membrane. So the big advantage of our method is uh, we only cut off a short part of the C-terminals and prevent the entire N-terminal, which is thought to play important physiological roles for the APP to, uh, for the neural development. Uh, due to the time limit, I cannot cover all the points we have done but welcome you to my poster for more details and questions. So with this, I want to thank all the lab members in, uh, in Roy's lab and our collaborators. Thank you for your attention.